Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a Lenovo Smart Clock 2 not connecting to Wi-Fi. I'll be going over how to fix it easily in this super duper easy peasy tutorial. Let's get right into the video. I'll be outlining five specific things that will hopefully help you fix your problem about your Lenovo Smart Clock 2 not connecting to your Wi-Fi network. Let's get right into the video. Number one, make sure that you've chosen the same Wi-Fi network as the device that it's connected to. So when you are setting up your Lenovo Smart Clock 2, on your Google Home app on a separate device, you're going to have to choose the network that you want to connect this to. Choose the same network that the device, the other device, the paired device is connected to. Okay? It makes things a lot easier and it's way less prone to any problems. Just choose the same network. It makes it nice and simple. If you didn't choose the same network, try to do anything that you can to, to choose the same network, whether you have to set it up in a, whatever the case is, like set it up in a different location, but try to choose the same network that the other device is currently connected to. It just makes it so much easier. And I, from what I've found, it's just less problematic. Okay, number two, make sure your Wi-Fi is working properly. So check that your Wi-Fi is working on your phone, on your tablet, on your cable box, whatever the case is. A lot of people just assume it's their smart clock, but in reality, it could be their Wi-Fi. Oftentimes, I think it's my laptop that's not working properly, when in reality, sometimes the Wi-Fi goes down and none of the devices are working properly with regards to their Wi-Fi connectivity. So with that being said, make sure your Wi-Fi is working properly on other devices before you assume that it is the smart clock. Number three, excuse me, unplug and plug back in your router or modem. I do apologize, I just recently had a snack and a big glass of water and I didn't give my body enough time to digest. So I really do apologize, I've been filming a lot of videos. It's quarter to midnight right now. So like I'm ready to go to sleep at this point, basically. So I apologize for not taking five to 10 minutes to digest my food and my water, okay? Anyways, back to business. So I'm excusing myself of any sounds that you hear coming from my mouth. Number three was what I just said, unplug and plug back in your router or modem. Even if your Wi-Fi is working properly, you know, you can unplug your modem or router or both and plug them back in. Leave them unplugged for 30 seconds to reset them. Sometimes my Wi-Fi is working perfectly fine on my other devices, but on like one of my security cameras, let's say out of, I have many of them, but on one of them, it's not connecting for some reason. And then I'll just reset the, the, the modem and the router, and then all of a sudden it works fine. And it doesn't quite make sense why it would only not work with that one device, but you know what, that, that it works after I, after I unplug them and plug them back in, it works. So try doing that and hopefully this connects up to it, okay? Number four, unplug your smart clock for one minute and then plug it back in. It's just like your, your, your router or your modem, when you unplug your smart clock for one minute and then plug it back in, it's gonna like reset its internals, just like a, like a temporary, like a restart, if you, if you can imagine that. Different than a factory reset, I'll go over that in a minute. But it's gonna just restart it, which will hopefully get rid of any glitches or hardware issues or software issues that have temporarily arisen, okay? So just unplug it for about a minute, plug it back in, see if it fixes the problem. Last but not least is number five, which is to factory reset the smart clock. So to factory reset the smart clock, and when you factory reset the smart clock, you're getting rid of everything on it. You are getting rid of all data, all information. It's starting brand new, basically. So you wanna press and hold down the plus and the minus for about 10 seconds until the screen pops up that tells you it will automatically be factory reset in 60 seconds. And then you have the ability to cancel it or reset it immediately. So if you leave it for 60 seconds, it will factory reset. If you cancel it, it will cancel it. And if you hit reset, it will reset it immediately, okay? Um, and that should work. Now I will tell you, I've owned this not for that long. Um, I've set it up a few different times for different video tutorials. I've set it up, I think about maybe seven times now, I'd say maybe, maybe even closer to 10, okay? For different video tutorials that you will probably see or have seen uh, leading up to this one or will see in the future that I will be releasing. And with that being said, only one time it couldn't find the network that I wanted it to find. So I factory res reset it and then it worked fine the next time. So I can vouch for the fact that it works, okay? And the network was fine on all devices. I didn't have to restart uh, my modem, my router. I didn't have to unplug them or plug them back in. I just factory reset the smart clock. And the good thing is that 
it only takes like five minutes to set this device up. So even when you factory reset it, it's like a five minute setup process. It doesn't take long. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.